All right, right now we're going to look at how to create a piecewise equation given some data. So we're going to start with, here's our, here's our table right here. We have a bunch of data points. And we're going to create something on our calculator. So you go to Stat, Edit. And then in Y1, or in List 1, I'll type in my numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, in List 2, there we go. In List 2, I'll put in my Y values, 300, 260, 200, 120. And I would suggest you do this with your calculator along with me because Math is not a spectator sport, it's a doing thing, and you want to do it. Okay, so now I have my lists. I want to see what that looks like. I can think about my window, um, my, zero, my, whoops, window, there we go. My X min doesn't need to be lower than zero, but I usually like to go a little smaller, so I'll go from negative one to nine for my X's. Y's, um, I need to go at least as high as 366, so I will go a little bit negative, negative 10 seems good, to say 370, maybe by 20, that'll give me a better scale. I want to turn my plot on, so you go to your second y equals, plot um, on, and I have my, nope, up here, my data is in list 1 and list 2, so that's fine. Um, and then there, right here, you can see my data points. That looks good. All right, now I need to come up with an equation that's going to match this. And I can try to do a regression. So I go back to my calculator. And regression equations are under statistics, calculate. Um, it does not look linear. I, I also don't think quadratic would be a very good match. So maybe we could try cubic. I don't know if that would work very well, but we could give it a shot. I want to tell it where to pull my data from, which is list one and list two. And then the awesome feature of this calculator is you can throw this into your y equals by hitting the variables button. Going over to y variables, I can tell it where to put it. I want to put that equation when I get it in y1, and we'll see how that graphs, which is not very well. As you can see from my table, um, zero does not give me 300, right? I'm hoping for something better. So my graph also is not, for parts it's not so bad, but overall there's a whole section in here that I'm not hitting. And I could try Quartic, I could try something else, but to me it seems like if I could split up my data, that might give me a better answer. And so when I look at this picture right here, um, this one, maybe without the uh, things on top of it, that this might be a good cutting point. So if I think about 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, using my points through 4 is probably going to be a better option. And then if I do a regression on that and a different regression on this part, also we are doing a piecewise equation and we know we're doing a piecewise equation. So what I want is I want to create two separate lists. So I'm going to store what I have in list one, actually not that, I want to take list one's information and store that in a different list, list three. And I'm going to take list two equation and store that in list four. And I'm doing this because I don't necessarily want to type everything again. I don't know if this is faster. But then when I go to my stat edit, I can delete the data from list one and three or one and two, that's below four. And I'm going to delete this. So this is a little pokey. And then in list three and list four, I'm just going to keep my points from four on. And notice I will include four in both pieces of data because that's where I want to connect. And so I want to make sure that four is involved in both lists. That way my two functions hopefully will connect and hook up. All right, so now I have my data. And I'm going to do the regression. Now I have to turn on, actually, in this case, another plot, because I want to graph um, what's in lists uh, three and four. So I go down here, and I type in 
endless 3, endless 4, and now, again, I, now I have all my points back. I still have this equation, which doesn't match very well. So let's go up there and delete that equation. All right, so now I'm back here. I want to try an equation. I want to do a regression equation. Let's clear this on my first four points. So now I can go back to stat, calc, and if I try, maybe this is quadratic. I, I don't think that first part is linear. Um, I want to do list one, list two, and I want to throw that into y1. Let's hit enter. How well did that match? Ho, ho, ho. That matches perfectly. Let's clear some of these other things off. I have 300, 260, 200, 120, 20. Isn't that convenient how it just magically matched those points exactly? Um, excellent. So now I, I feel like I have a good equation for my first four points. Now what about four through eight? Well, I could try quadratic again. It's also curving in a different way. So let's try that. I'm going to actually just call this up. Well, I don't want to put it in Y1. So I want to now do the regression on list three and list four. Whoa. I need to delete that comma. And I want to put that not in Y1 because I want to keep my Y1 where it is. So I want to put that in Y2. And then let's try that. And I'm going to see how do my points 4 through 8 match. Not horribly, but let's see if I can do something a little bit better. I would like that to be a little bit better. Let's try a third degree. So I'm going to quit this. Close this link ink layer. Let's quit. And let's try, in this case, let's try a cubic, which would be six. Cubic regression. I want list three, list four. I want to put that one now in Y2. Or I could put it in Y3 in case Y2 ended up to be better. Let's just put it in Y2. I'm confident that this will be um, a better place. Let's try it. Hit Enter. And how do those match up? 19.8, 39.8. Not bad. I don't know if I can do any better. Let's try Quartic. Um, no. Let's try Stat. Calc. 7. I'm hoping I'll hit the jackpot and one of these might actually give me perfect numbers. Now in your project, you probably won't get perfect numbers, but it's possible. You want to get, remember, to the nearest millimeter. That's what we are shooting for. Y variables, um, function. I am going to put this one in Y3, and I'm going to see what I get, because maybe it's not better. Now, if I go to my table, and I go over to Y3, are my points that I think is what I wanted. Now, for our quiz that we will have on this, I will have an equation that you need to match perfectly. So you will have to find that. The quadratic was not perfect. The cubic was not perfect for this part. But the fourth degree is perfect for this part. Um, in the next piece, I'll show you how you can graph it so that we don't have this overlapping part. If I get rid of my y2, which I didn't actually want, this still. Um, let's clear that equation. This graph still has all this overlap, and I want to graph it so that it only matches the points. I don't want this part right there that's not part of it. So the next little video will show you how you can do that.